Welcome to Back to Basics with me, Zeta. Today we're looking at exponents and certs. What are exponents? Exponent refers to the number of times a number or the base has to be multiplied by itself. Definitions. Any non-zero number raised to the power zero is equal to one. But zero raised to the power zero is still zero. The negative exponent. This is a number which is on the wrong side of the fraction line. So, to solve, we simply reciprocate. The number to the power of a fraction. This is quite tricky to grasp at first, but as soon as you've got a hang of it, it's really simple to understand and use. Now let's look at some of the rules or the laws of exponents. The multiplication rule. a to the power x times a to the power y is equal to a to the power x plus y. The division rule is just the opposite of this. a to the power x divided by a to the power y is equal to a to the power x minus y. So as you can see here, you either add the exponents if it's multiplication or divide the exponents if it's division. Please note there are no exponent rules for whether for when you have two numbers which are added or subtracted whether they have an exponent or not. The power of a power rule. a to the power x all to the power y. It's quite simple, just a to the power x times y. So had it been a to the power a to the power b to the power c to the power d, it would be a to the power a times b times c times d. The power of a product rule. This happens when you have a bracket raised to a power. You basically only have to multiply or distribute in the exponent. So a b to the power x is equal to a to the power x times b to the power x. Please note this is one term. Had it been that there are two or more terms in your bracket, you would handle this differently. Power of a fraction rule. This is the same as the power of a product rule because this is only one term so you distribute the exponent between the number in the numerator or the variable in the numerator and the number or the, and the, or the variable in the denominator. The last three, as you can see, are the definitions that we just went through. But you can have another look. Surds. What are surds? Surds are referred to as radicals sometimes, and they're basically just the opposite of exponents. So, because surds are the opposite of exponents, and as we saw in the last exponent law, it's just a number to the power of a fraction, the same rules apply for surds as those that apply for exponents. It may look different, but I promise you it's not. So, go forth and practice. You can find practice links in the bio of this video regarding exponents and surds of different um, difficulties. And I will do a video on wi in which I go through a few exponent and surd equations and expressions. So please subscribe, share, and like. I really hope this helped. This was Back to Basics with your girl Zeta. Lots of love.